Blairs, how you doing? Let's do a bit of cutting. Today is going to be who's checking you out. That could be interesting, triggering, or just a bit of fun. Okay, so let's not take it too seriously. It's just Taro, as I always say, is really chill on this channel, as you know. Okay, one, two, one, two. Who's checking on you? Or oh, checking you out, part number one. Well, we have a six of pentacles, we have a seven of cups, and we have the emperor. Well, well, well. We have someone who uh, is very important in your life because, uh, you know, that could be a manager, that could be a, a authority figure, or that can be the emperor. That person, male, female, doesn't matter, who is going to come towards you and tell you how much they love you. So that could be, a, you know, a father figure, an authority figure, someone with a bit of uh, authority, but also someone who could have a very precise knowledge in a very precise uh, field, like a doctor, like an, av uh, like an avocat, no avocat is in French, a lawyer uh, would be in English. Okay, so you're going to become fluent in French. Uh, so that person is uh, very clear on who you are and recognize you and treat you absolutely beautifully. This is someone who um, wants you to love you as much as you love them. If there is an authority figure, is someone who wants to pay you for your words, who recognize your talent and wants to push you forward, believe in you very much. And uh, believe also in the longevity of your connection, whether it's a partnership or whether it's love. Uh, there's a lot of love here, number six, uh, Pentacle Longevity, as I say as well. It's someone who really treats you like an equal. You're not an employee, you are a partner, you are uh, someone they truly love and adore, okay? So who is this person is, I mean, how many people do you have who adore you with that um, sincerity? They don't try to manipulate you, they don't try to change you, they don't try to tell you what to do. They they adore you for who you are and all of the aspects of yourself. They may have been procrastinated for a while and not telling you how they felt because they needed to go into that you know journey of an emperor. So that's someone who has to learn to open up and come forward. So in the meantime, maybe yeah, they have been procrastinating because they had to grow they had to grow the confidence they had to find the words they had to believe in this connection and maybe you know maybe they're older than you much older than you or um so that could have created maybe a question mark let's have more information yeah it's someone who's definitely not afraid to open up and say what they feel they took that decision to walk towards you so you don't need to do anything they perceive you as an emperor. They don't want to change anything uh, uh, of you. They accept all of the aspect of you, as I said before. But it's someone who's daring. Yeah, someone who could be actually uh, someone in uh, in the field of the law. Um, that could be someone who could be a doctor. Is someone, as I say, with a very specific knowledge, could be a therapist. Um, is someone who also is always curious to know more. How can I develop myself? How can I be a better version of myself? It's not someone who's going to sit quiet, like, oh, that's it, I'm done, you know, I'm not going to change, I'm not going to move uh, through anything in this life, I'm going to stay put. No, that is someone who's always curious, how can I find a better way to be me? How can I serve this world in a better way? How can I be of a better support for you? And you both agree on that, you both want to learn, you both are much aware of, I'm not perfect. You know, I have a lot to find out, I have to learn, to learn, and I'm open for it, okay, and open to it, okay, what else, yeah, someone who may have taken the time to approach you, they may have been around, you know, they're always there, but, you know, they checked you out, but never say anything, they may have been quiet for a while, and took their time, because they want to do things properly, and maybe they were focused on their uh, career, money had to be you know, moving forward or moving in the right direction. So they maybe took their time before they were able to move towards you because they wanted to be in a good place financially or they wanted to be able to say, I can offer you, you know, a security, a sense of security. So that's quite a few elements of who is checking you out, but it's someone who's checking you out because they want to move towards you and not just looking at you. They want to be part of your life and they want to be with you. So that is beautiful. Part number two, who is checking you out? Out. Four of sword, a page of cups, and the knight of wands. So we could have a couple of people, or it could be someone who uh, at times can be a little bit gauche, over enthusiastic, and 
Now really think things through and then oh my god i have to apologize because i said something but i didn't mean it like that and you know it's a little bit chaotic here but that's all right because this person is actually in the middle of doing the healing and the healing of the full sword is not a walk in the park it's very complex it's very uh full-on um you don't go there for the sake of it you go there because you really want to find some answers you want to understand why you're acting or reacting a certain way. Uh, when you do that process, it's uh, maybe you as well doing the same thing. And maybe you met through that, through that work. Um, and maybe you're the, the, the part of the same group and you maybe a Facebook group or something. And you go through this journey. And it's complex. Is uh, you, you don't go there just to test the temperature of the water. You go there or you don't. When you go there, you go deep. Okay. So maybe during that process they may have been a bit gauche and cavalier or they may have been a little bit like shy and, and timid and all of that okay yeah they had they, they were fighting maybe a codependency maybe uh, they were addicted to something or substances or way of uh, you know um emotionally codependent people maybe you met in that during that journey you know when you both went with someone like that and then you realize no i don't I can't do this anymore okay yeah because you're opening a new chapter of a life maybe someone that you know through the web maybe you are a part of the same group on facebook or whatever and uh, you're doing the same seminar or you're doing the same zoom uh, meetings once a week there is something about the internet okay and also traveling and also looking at you like looking up to you is someone who's admiring what you're doing because he knows or she knows is tough yes he's very right maybe that person has just finished this kind of process and understand what you're going through and encourage you and you know give you the time and space to find your feet because it's a big journey yeah maybe that person had to choose between two as well maybe that person was with a comic for doing a certain amount of time and now they had to you know set themselves free um maybe someone who was actually trying to avoid that introspection now he's very into um, the work so it could be something like that that you met because you're going on the same journey a uh, different perspective but at the same time you're going through the same work uh, yes it's an idea of doing things properly now to go to the to the core of who we are to know the truth and the inner truth okay it's about doing the right thing as well maybe that person was in between two people and one of them was a comic so obviously that person needs to divorce or do something in order to be free to come towards you. But they want to do the right thing. But there seemed to me a bit of a journey. Yeah, you may have met in a kind of context, very social um, opportunities here, or maybe you were socializing together for a long time and, and you didn't know that that person was, you know, uh, in difficulties with uh, maybe codependency. And then you realize that you were going to the same group or you were, you know, doing the same work. And that's how you realize, oh my God, I used to see you around and now I understand. Okay, so it's, it's somebody that you want to go on a journey with or someone who's doing the same journey and inevitably you meet up. But it's someone who understands what you're trying to achieve and understand how difficult it can be and challenging. So they are with you on that. That's beautiful. On this not a beautiful day, and I see you tomorrow. Mwah. Ciao.